quad star tuning with a quick tip today. I'm um, talking about engine grounds. Anytime you have some weird trouble codes, you know, trans automatic transmissions not shifting correctly, your glow plugs aren't working, any of the above, uh, check engine lights on, or the computer's not booting up for some reason, just really a whole slew of things. You might be scratching your head and you message us, we're gonna tell you to clean your grounds. Uh, really, really easy when you understand exactly what's going on. So the truck usually has two batteries, one on the driver's side and one on the passenger side. They are connected to studs on the intake manifold. You know, whether it's you know one of these two here or the one on the thermostat housing, doesn't really matter. Wherever it's connected, take it off and clean it. Clean the stud all up. Get it nice and shiny. Um, if it has a nut on it, take Scotch-Brite, take the nut, clean it all off, get it nice and shiny on the bottom. Um, you never know if somebody was in here working before, left a bunch of dirt on the connections. Um, these are the important buggers here. Come out of the main loom. You got three or four ground wires sometimes connected together. There is another one that's already connected back here. This is the main ground wire for the transmissions connected to the coolant block off plate back here where we add our uh, coolant temperature sensor with our custom block off plate. Um, we've already cleaned and attached that one. That, that one's usually for your transmission. Um, there's straps that go down over the valve cover to the firewall and down to the frame. Um, that, that is what grounds the chassis and the cab and everything all together. These guys are important. If any of those straps that go down are broken, replace them with high temperature wire or new straps. Um, but these are the most common troublemakers right here. Um, we've already went ahead and cleaned all these up with Scotch-Brite on both sides. So when they seat, they make a nice clean connection. Looks like we got a little bit more on there we'll clean off. And then we need to take our wire brush, clean the heck out of this stud. You can see there's rust and corrosion all around it. I want to make sure it's good to go. We're going to apply anti-seize to this nut when we put it back on so we can service it again easily in the future. But once we get it all cleaned up here, take our scotch right also. Do anything we can. It's not rocket science. Just want to get any crud off of there so we have a clean contact. Once it's all cleaned up, grab blade brake clean and the air hose, clean that guy off. So we're gonna wanna hose down that stud and these wires. We don't want any sort of corrosion possible in there. We're gonna clean the nut as well. I have it screwed onto this other stud just for safekeeping there. Now that everybody's clean, we can grab some air. Now we are ready to reattach these. Everybody's all cleaned up. We'll put our two wires on. Doesn't matter what order they go on, because we cleaned everybody up. We're gonna put a touch anti-seize on these threads again. Again, this is for serviceability. We wanna be able to get in here if we ever have anything going on and be able to just take that nut off cleanly without messing with our torque intake bolt. Make sure we don't have any wires rubbing on anything. rubbing up against the intake, I'm just going to turn it back. Get a nice firm connection there. Everybody's happy. There's no stress on our harness. And we're good to go. Now we don't have to worry about any connection issues. And again, 
we might have them connected to intake studs also. Clean those up for the two battery cable grounds that go straight to the intake manifold. And put the battery cables back on or, you know, if you notice any distress in the battery cables, it'd be a good time to upgrade some of our zero gauge kits um, with these 22 to 1 compression motors. You really can't have too much battery cable. Um, get the electricity flowing, get the good grounds, and everybody will be happy. Thanks for watching.